So this is what you can expect on a tune uh, with iNav just out of the box, right? And you can see the PID values down there. That is the default and profile one if you don't reset the profile. And now let's see what it looks like Light after we tune. One. You can see it kind of tightens up. So let's flip around and check that out the other direction. Flight mode two. So again, this is kind of the out of the box. We've got a little bit of a breeze here, a little bit of shake shimmy. And then notice the PIDs down below and then Flight what happens one. when we kind of tighten those PIDs up. It just tightens up that, that tune, that, that shakiness. And you know, I'm not done with this. I can keep moving those PIDs up, but you can kind Flight of see that two. difference and how much difference the P and the D gain make in this whole uh, tuning operation here. And this is a pretty handy trick here where you can kind of change your uh, your PID profiles with iNav. It's really handy to kind of do A, B right in the same flight. So let me change that back to flight mode one. And you can see how it just kind of tightens it up. Auto tune mode. And go into auto tune. So I, from what I understand with auto-tune, I'm doing exactly what I'm supposed to be doing here. Just kind of banging the sticks. You can see what it's doing on the gains, but it's not really adjusting the PID gains. It's not really adjusting those P's and those D's. It's adjusting the feed forward and the rates. So auto-tune doesn't really, in my experience, adjust your P and your D gains. You have to do that manually. So it's not a full auto-tune, as you might suspect. Again, you can see those gains down there, and you can see how it's adjusting those feed forward gains. All right, so that's enough of the tuning. Normal. Let's see what we see in now we're in that tuned out see what we angle see mode. just do angle mode again so that's flight mode two that's what we did the auto tune on let's hit flight, flight mode, mode one. one and again you can just see it kind of tightens it up still a little shake and shimmying so you can see how it tightens it up flight, flight mode, mode two, two again Get more yaw, a lot more bobble on the roll. Flight mode one. But flight mode one kind of tightens everything up. And again, we can go farther on that as well. Manual mode, acro mode, manual mode. And you can see there, I got kind of oscillations. So you can see here my P and D gain are too high. As I speed up, I get D-term oscillation. So that's telling me my PIDs are too high for that speed. And as you can see, as I increase speed, I start to get that P-term oscillation. I can pull back up. Obviously, I can also just exit out of uh, acro mode at this point. So that's a good showing of how, and you can see where it's occurring on too, where I'm too high on my roll axis right there. It starts to go to P-term oscillation. If I wanted to exit out of that, I can just take it out of acro mode, but that's obviously way too high on my... Uh, my D term there for that for for those PIDs. I mean look how I'm getting pushed around in manual mode. So at this elevation, oof, big push. So I'm pushed all around on this thing. So it really goes to show how much that stability of the flight controller is helping.
you know, I need to manual. Look how much I'm getting pushed around in manual mode here. So it's significant. It's a significant help. And then, you know, it's similar to like prop wash, you know, there's no silver bullet where you're going to be just not having it at all. But you can lessen it and, you know, how, how stiff do you want it to be to that response? You know, you like that big Acro mode. Uh, push that it just had there. You know, if I put in stability mode, see, I don't have to do anything. And that all goes away. I mean, look at that compared to manual mode, manual mode. where it's just shaking all over the place. Coming off, your nose going off course, and so on and so forth. So, stability definitely does help smooth things out versus just, you know, flying it by the sticks. So, it's a pretty windy day. Let's see what we get in manual mode. You can see here, if I just don't touch it, how it will just kind of blow off course and shake and shimmy with that. Now, of course, I can always, well, honestly, if you put in any other cruise mode, so you can see the shakes you're getting in manual mode and how she's kind of blown off course there. So let's see what the same thing we get with going into a stabilized mode. Acro mode. So this is acro mode with some P gains. And you can see the P and D kind of working it to keep it more stable. But you're going to get some of those micro kind of twitches. But here it's not going to blow off course so easily either. So it's kind of what you're looking for is uh, the key there. And then we can switch to flight mode, two. flight mode two. Now this is just eye gains, no P or D. And you can see it's pretty good, uh, just in eye gains alone. But it does shake and shimmy a little bit more mode one. compared to two, having some P and D. So let's bring this around, check that out again. See what you can get again, the P and D gains here. Mode two. If I go to flight mode two, just eye gains. Kind of see the difference there. Flight mode one. How it tightens it up. See how it tightened it up there? Again, it's nice and tightened up with the P and the D gains. So let's take another look at this. It's manual mode. Kind of blows all around. Takes a lot more active control, of course. You know, you gotta correct for things like that. Acro mode. Acro mode with the P and D gains. Looking at that tower in the distance, how that kind of looks. And then we can see how it's gonna look here with just the eye gains. Flight mode two. Not just eye gains. A little bit more shake, a little bit more shimmy, uh, but a little smoother, I guess, too. Well, depends what you're looking for. So that's flight mode two, just eye gains. Flight mode one. Let's go back with P and D. Kind of a sharper, sharper response you're gonna get to, you know, to flying. Come back, cruise mode. We got just the eye gains. Now we're going to flip one. into the P and the D with that in cruise mode. You kind of see how it kind of tightens it up. So cruise mode makes a big difference too, and obviously holding that heading, holding that altitude. And then it's really how tight do you want to get it. And again, this is a windy, pretty windy day. We're talking 20 mile an hour winds today. Uh, gusty. Some gusts. Flight mode two. And that's pretty good right there. And you, but you can see when it's shaking and shimmy in there. Flight mode one. Kind of what you're getting.